You have been given this incredible honor of being the new Bionic Woman. Yes, I mean, right. how do you feel about this? Um, good. Very honored. <laughs> um, great. It's it, it hasn't really hit me. It hit me the first day I got the phone call and then the work set in. And I think as soon as I see it on TV, it'll be a different feeling. That's why I'm inviting 50 people over to my house to watch it with me. <laughs> when you first read for the part, did you think that you were going to get it? No, I didn't think I was going to get it, but... The way that it was written, it was very much like me. She's, um, I don't know, smart mouth. She's just very blatant about what she feels, and she's she's goofy too, which is nice. She makes mistakes, and she's not embarrassed about it. So that's I make a lot of mistakes, and I'm never embarrassed. You say that you're a little bit like Kate Mason. I mean, what is she like? Um, she's the kind of person that uh, I'm always making jokes. So basically to make people feel comfortable because people, especially in her condition, she's a paraplegic and they tend to draw sympathy from people, unwanted sympathy. In, in order to make them feel comfortable, they, she cracks a lot of jokes, has a good time and says, you know, it's okay, it's, I'm, I'm learning to deal with the way that I am, so just relax. And it makes her life a lot easier. And I've noticed that, you know, if you have a good sense of humor, the people around you sort of become more at ease. So does she have any extra special talents? What does she do? You've got to tell us. What does she do <laughs> besides tell bad jokes? Um, she doesn't. Basically, she's not out to save the world. She's she's not out to save the world. I don't know what they have in store for her in terms of wonderful things that she does. She's faster. She can run faster. She can lift heavier things. Um, magical powers? She has none. But uh, we're working on that. Um, but just basically, she's just twice as strong. There's nothing extra special that she can't do. She can't zap laser beams out of her fingers or anything like that. But just a little stronger. What kind of special effects can we look forward to? Um, now they're going for, they're, they're still having the slow motion running, but now there's sort of a, a neon haze, a glow about me, sort of a, she has that glow about her. <laughs> now, That's about the insiders are saying that if this movie does really well, that this could become uh, a series in the fall. Mm -hmm. Do you know and have any of the inside track on this? Oh, gossip, gossip. Um, inside, as in, if, if there's any word. We're just waiting to see. Depends on how the film does. Depends on how it, how it goes over. Which I think it'll be great. It's a great children's. No, it, it's for the whole family. That's why I think it's good, and they're, they're lacking that a lot. It's a good show everybody can watch. And are you going to be the star? Um, not the star. It'll be a it'll be a duo thing between Jeff Yeager and I. Whoever seems to attract the most attention in that episode, I think, will be the center of attention. When you were growing up, did you watch the Bionic? Yes, I did. Were you a fan? Yes, I did. I watched the Bionic Woman. It was always on at four o'clock when I came home from school, so it was a, a neighborhood ritual. Really, the kids go home and watch Lindsay Save the World. But yeah, I watched it. And did you ever think that? Never, did? never, ever, 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 never. I mean, I knew that I wanted to go into theater, into acting, but. Being a, a bionic person, being the new bionic girl, never even crossed my mind. Why do you think that this whole bionic concept is so popular? Because it allows you to fantasize. Everybody, as, as a kid, when I watched it after the show was over, I'd go out and I'd try and lift a car and I'd pretend like to run really fast. We'd run around the backyard to see if we could do it that fast. I did. It's something to fantasize with. I mean, you, you're in the real world all the time. It's, it's tough. And you want to come home and it's, it's, it allows you just to get lost a little bit. And it's, it's still, still within the realms of, of realism. I mean, you can be realistic about it. It's not that far-fetched. It's not like I can fly without wings. You know, it's, it's within in a person's grasp, it makes you believe that you can actually go out and lift a car or something. And the last question is, I mean, can you show us how you run in slow motion? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, can we move some of this stuff out? I'll, I'll show you. <laughs> Just, I mean, do you, do you... Here, let me pick you up. <laughs>